competent or incompetent, alive or dead. The SSN is your in number, which is your legal entity, all caps name, which is looked upon as an incompetent minor that is dead. Minors by law cannot contract as competent people can. To be competent is to be of the age of majority. You can conduct business and deal with contracts as we do on a daily basis. What is a social security number? It seems everyone asks for your social security number these days. So what is it? An SSN is a unique identifier issued by the Social Security Administration, SSA. The number was originally a way for the government to keep track of your earnings and the money you paid into the Social Security program. So the source, of course, is going to be socialsecurityintelligence.com. What dash social dash security dash numbers dash mean? You guys can Google it, look it up. Remember, the government made you a dead entity. Reason for your name in all caps when you get bills. The reason you have a birth certificate and was assigned a SSN all made you an incompetent minor. Reason for Minnesota Rule 220 is to make you a competent living adult that is the age of majority. You are no longer a ward of the state that takes privileges. This must be done by law. Our standings is very important. Incompetent entities use SSN numbers. Competent entities take control and create their own entities. Do you want to be looked upon as living or the walking dead? 15 U.S.C. 1602, which you guys already know this is under um, Chapter 41. This is under the Truth in Lending, okay? So 15 U.S.C. 1602L. The term credit card means any card, plate, coupon, book, or other credit device existing for the purpose of obtaining money, property, labor, or services on credit. And your, you get your ID, your driver's license, passport, which your social security number, which getting your driver's license and registering your, your vehicle, you know, you're using your social, obtaining credit cards, everything. They want your social. That's your extension of credit. Now, what backs up Title 15 U.S.C. 1602L is 12 CFR 1026.212. Consumer credit means credit offered or extended to a consumer primarily for personal, family, or household purposes. A SSN is not only a tracking number, it is our extension of credit. Your SSN is and should only be given for tax purposes only. Now everyone wants and needs that number. Reason they are claiming our credits and equity. Making financial gain off our ignorance they created. Most are incompetent, so behind the scene, these companies and people are claiming our credits unknowingly. Why? Because we were not educated on proper commerce. They track all our business, and here is the proof. You guys can go to the usdebtclock.org, and it's going to have up there how many people bought homes, cars, how many people's in debt, student loans, how many people's on government assistance. It just has all of our business because they track us, okay? And that's proof. The proof is in the pudding, baby, okay? Let's get a clear under as well overstanding. What is the point of doing the billing error process or any other administrative process? What am I entitled to? Why should we do the process Minnesota Rule 220? How do we benefit? Let's get a clear under as well overstanding. What is the point of doing the billing error process or any other administrative process? There is no money, only a medium of exchange. The United States agreed to take full obligation and responsibility of all debt. 
18 U.S.C. 8 and 31 U.S.C. 3123. So that gave all rights to defer defer payment, deal with instrument, etc. You want your credits and equity. What am I entitled to? Whatever you worked for, we use an extension of our credit. So we know we have a credit system. We are ran on credit. You must play the credit game, then claim your credits. Reason it is important to have good credit. Why should we do this process? If you want your 40 acres and mule, this is how you get your reparations. If you continue to wait for something that is being taken from you daily, you will continue to be a debt slave. It also proves you're incompetent, need to be taken care of. How do we benefit? To live debt free, to have financial stability. You understand commerce and the importance of conducting honest business. Financial freedom opens the door to generational wealth. We deal with contract on a daily. You want to benefit off these contracts and not let others off of your contracts. So you choose your standings or keep allowing others to take advantage of you and keep taking privileges. Remember, competent is to live. To be incompetent is to be dead. No standings. One is de jour, which is free. The other is de facto, which are slaves. We must learn how to operate in this system and understand what hats we wear at and <laughs> what time. <laughs> My bad, you guys. My mouth is killing me. Y'all just don't even know right now. To be competent or incompetent, that is the question, public or private. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, I'm just a guide post, you guys. I just guide you guys to information. Okay, so you guys enjoy your day. I'm out. Bye.